Good morning, students. Welcome to English 10, online lessons of English for schools. Today we continue studying Unit 7, Great People. Our today's lesson is called Imagine All the People. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to infer meaning from context. First, work in pairs and make a list of people that could be named for greatest Britons of all time. What are they famous for? Then discuss the questions below in pairs. Have you ever heard the songs by the Beatles? Do you like them? Why do you think the Beatles were so popular in the 20th century? Who were the members of the band? Who was the leader? And what was the Beatles' contribution to the world culture? Now read the front page of BBC News report from December the 8th, 1980. What happened? John Lennon shot dead. Former Beatle John Lennon has been shot dead by an unknown gunman who opened fire outside the musician's New York apartment. The 40-year-old was shot several times as he entered the Dakota, his luxury apartment building on Manhattan's Upper West Side, opposite Central Park, at 11 p.m. local time. He was rushed in a police car to St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital Center, where he died. Lecture concerts. John Lennon was shot near his apartment in New York. He was taken to hospital where he died. What do you think happened after this announcement in New York, in Liverpool and in the world? Now open the student's book at page 221. Read the story and describe what is happening in the picture. Now let's check answers. Crowds had been gathering at the Dakota since two hours after the murder. Even the reporters and policemen who had come to do their jobs appeared lost and shaken. Now find the sentences in the article that prove the following statements true. First, the writer was a teenager when the described event happened. 2. The piece of news on TV was totally unexpected. 3. The author was a huge Beatles fan. 4. His parents were supportive but couldn't feel his pain. Number 5. John Lennon was open and sincere in his interviews, which made many feel as if they knew him well. 6. Lennon was killed by one of his fans. 7. John Lennon promoted peace in the world. 8. A great number of people of different age and social level were shocked by the tragedy. 9. John Lennon was too young to die. Now let's check answers. 1. Passing notes behind the teacher's back at school. Going for pizza at the mall. Blowing off homework to watch TV, December the 8th, 1980, started out as just another unmemorable day for this 15-year-old. 2. I knew this couldn't be good. They don't interrupt the two-night show to announce concert tours or sales milestones, but nothing could prepare me for the completion of that sentence, which unfolded in such slow motion, it, feel, it feels like it continues to this day. 3. The door to my Beatles postured bedroom. Though I had been a fan since fifth grade. 4. My mom was actually upset that I was so upset. Two months earlier, my 80-year-old great-grandfather had died and I didn't sulk, much less cry. She couldn't understand how I could feel so deeply the loss of a person I never knew. 5. 
and he was an open wound during interviews, sharing fears, dreams and insecurities my own best friends wouldn't dare. 6. Hardcore Beatles fans who proudly pinned Lennon buttons up and down, the denim jackets they never washed had always made Phil sick. And now I had every reason to hate them more. One of them had killed my idol. 7. All we are saying, Gary and I sang along with the crowd, is give peace a chance. Someone kept rewinding the song on a boombox. After a while, no one could hear the recorded version. 8. They were men in business suits and construction uniforms, women in dresses and jogging suits. Ordinary folk. 9. Life begins at 40, so they promise, he told in an interview a month before his murder. And I believe it too. I feel fine and I'm very excited. It's like, you know, hitting 21. Like, wow, what's going to happen next? Now work in pairs. Look at the underlying sentences in the article. Name the tenses and discuss why this or that narrative tense is used. Let's check answers. Past simple. Tried. Heard. Didn't sulk. Had. Appeared. Was. Looked. Released. Past continuous. Was lying. Were crying. Past perfect. Had been. Had died. Had made. Had killed. Had come. Had gotten. Had lost. Had been. Past perfect continuous. Had been gathering. Now discuss in small groups. What did the author do on the day of Lennon's death? What was he doing when he heard the news? What did he do later that day and on the next day? What did the Beatles fans look like? Why did people come to the Dakota? What were they doing there? How did they feel? Now let's check answers. 1. It was a usual day for a 15-year-old teenager. He spent it at school. Number 2. He was watching tonight's show on TV. 3. He listened to the Beatles songs and later went to the Dakota building. 4. Hardcore fans wore denim jackets with Lennon buttons pinned up and down. There were other fans who were just businessmen, people in construction uniforms, women in dresses and jockeys suits. 5. There was no special reason for them to come to the Dakota. They couldn't change anything, but they wanted to share their feelings about Lennon's death with other people. They had heavy hearts filled with sorrow. 6. They were sinning and talking there. 7. They felt lost and depressed. At home you are going to listen to the song Imagined by John Lennon and say what it makes you think about.
Today's lesson is finished. Goodbye.